Welcome everybody and welcome to my channel Rainier Books. My name is Rainer. Guten Morgen. Good morning. And well, let's get started. What is happening today? I'm going to talk about a book that I have finished uh, on Thursday morning, actually, two o'clock in the morning. I finished this wonderful novel by Ocean Wong, On Earth We're Briefly Gorgeous, which I'm going to talk about in my video today. So let's get started. First, I want to talk to you about Ocean Wong, who is, uh, has published his debut novel last year, uh, On Earth We're Briefly Gorgeous. Ocean Wong was born in 1988 in the city of Ho Chi Minh City in Vietnam, formerly known as Saigon before the Vietnam War. He, was, he came to the United States when he was very young. He was two years old when he and his mother and grandmother fled from uh, Vietnam to the Philippines and then to the United States and they lived uh, in Ocean's childhood years and, and juvenile years in Hartford, Connecticut. Um, he was the first in his family who learned actually to read. His mother is illiterate. He was raised uh, both by his grandmother and his mother, which is very important because the novel is also about very much about women. After high school, Ocean moved to uh, New York, to the city of New York. He started marketing at Pace University, which really wasn't his thing, I believe, because after a short while he uh, changed the subject and he changed the school. He went to uh, Brooklyn College in New York, studied English literature of the 19th century. And, um, well, his, one of his teachers was Mr. Ben Lerner, who is a very famous author, as you might know. He has written uh, The Topeka School and he has written another novel, 1004, um, two very important books in American contemporary literature. And Ben Lerner has been of great influence to Ocean and has apparently um, uh, supported him a lot. Then Ocean Wong published a lot of poetry. He was writing poetry. He published his poetry and it was published in many of the most well-respected American journals and newspapers, in the New Yorker and the New York Times, in uh, the Boston Review uh, and, and other publications. So he published, uh, he debuted in 2016 with a poetry collection called Night um, Sky with Exit Wounds. And in that collection, I believe, was a poem that was already called On Earth Were Briefly Gorgeous. So last year, the novel, his first novel, was published. What is the novel about? Ocean Wang's novel On Earth Were Briefly Gorgeous is a letter of a Vietnamese-American man who is named Little Dog in the novel to his mother, Rose, and a mother who is illiterate. So the novel starts as a letter. For my, and the book is also dedicated by Ocean Wong to his own mother. Joan Didion is, <clears throat> excuse me, Joan Didion is one, one of the two mother givers of the novel. I want to tell you the truth, and already I have told you about the White Rivers. That's a quote from Joan Didion. Let me begin again. Dear Ma, I am writing to reach you, even if each word I put down is one word further from where you are. I'm writing to go back to the time at the rest stop in Virginia when you stared, horror-struck, at the taxidermy buck hung over the soda machine by the restrooms, its antlers shadowing your face. That's how the novel begins. There's a novel where, where a little dog, the protagonist, is telling his mother uh, about their common time under the upbringing and when little dog was a child in Hartford, Connecticut when he was bullied by white American boys when he started uh, to learn English because he couldn't speak English well enough because he looked differently. It's about the um, hard life of the mother who tried to provide for her son and for her mother, Alan, who uh, is suffering from schizophrenia as one post who's suffering from a post-traumatic stress syndrome from the, the war in Vietnam. Um, it is a novel about the queer coming out of a Little Dog when he meets a white boy named Trevor on a tobacco farm outside Hartford during his first summer job, summer, jo summer vacation and summer job on a tobacco farm. It's about people who die all around Little Dog of overdoses, of fentanyl, of, ox of uh, opioids. It's a pretty tough story. It's a pretty violent story, I would say, because there's so much pain, there's so much suffering going on. At the same time, 
Uh, people always try to survive and that's what we do and that's what you do uh, and everybody of us is doing and it's a story about survival as well how the grandmother how the mother and the son are doing their best to survive in this not so easy livable world this all is told in a very beautiful tone and in very poetic language of course because ocean wong is a poet and and much of this of his sentences are extremely beautifully uh, composed. It's, it's not that he has written uh, this this novel, um, but he has. It, it's also always almost a mixture to me that he has between writing a novel and composing a novel. And he's really a composer of words that not only make sense together, but also sounds sound incredibly beautiful together put in the sentences that he puts them in. So I really like the novel. Although it's very sad, although I really was sad in, in many parts of the the novel, and I was almost close to to boiling my eyes out in 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 one or the other parts. For example, when Lan, the grandmother, is dying of ca cancer and the painkillers don't work anymore, and the mother and little dog are trying to help the mother, the grandmother and their mother to to live the, la the last hours uh, in, in life. This is so, um, it's also so intimate. I have, haven't read an intimate novel like this in a long time because the first um, sexual experience of Little Dog with this boy Trevor is described in a very intimate way and uh, how this act is coming together and how this act is not going to work and what this is not working. Um, and, and, and because something happens there, an accident happens, and, and how this is described so intimately and so closely is really painful. It, it, that's really painful as well. So it, it's very intimate, it's very open, it's very exhibitionistic in a way. But these are this is fiction, of course. This is not. Um, these are fictitious characters. Even when Little Dog uh, has a lot of things in common with Ocean Wong, the novelist who has written this piece. I really recommend uh, On Earth for Briefly Gorgeous. It's a beautiful novel about Asian American immigrants, especially from Vietnam. It's also another a different kind of book about the Vietnam War because the, the, the uh, aftermath of the war is in many characters. It's in, in the little boy, Little Doc, who doesn't remember the war, obviously. It's about his mother and his grandmother who have <clears throat> excuse me, suffered a lot from the war. His grandmother had a relationship, it was a prostitute in Vietnam. She had relationships, she had a relationship with an American soldier and the father of Rose, of the mother, is, is an American soldier. So uh, there's a lot of love and pain and, and storytelling in this book because Lan and uh, Lan is telling, the, the grandmother is always telling stories to to Little Doc uh, in the evening because they don't, uh, they can't afford a television and they always have their, their beautiful stories that they tell at night. When you came home the night after Lan and I had eaten out a share of tea rice, we all walked the 40 minutes it took to get to the sea town of New Britain Avenue. It was near closing and the aisles were empty. You wanted to buy oxtail to make bib bo foie for the cold winter a week ahead of us. And they don't have, um, and the mother cannot uh, cannot articulate what she wants to buy, and the people who the salesman in the shop where she wants to buy meat make fun of her. This is so much about the experience of immigrants in America. It's so much about the queer coming out of little dog, the homosexual coming out. It's about um, America in our time when people are dying to the right and to the left of the from the opioid crisis. Um, and, and how people still try to survive and make their way and find a meaningful life. So uh, this was one of the most, exp um, most beautiful books that I have read this year so far. And I really recommend to every one of you Ocean Wong's On Earth were really gorgeous. And I also highly recommend Ocean Wong's uh, talk with uh, the wonderful Jacqueline Woodson in the New York uh, bookstore Strands, which is on YouTube. I saw that. It's about 40, 50 minutes long. I link to that in my description below. And if you like that video, if you like the description, if you like the review, please subscribe to my channel and I come back with another video for you on Sunday. And this is going to be a book haul 
Right now I'm reading, uh, for those of you who are interested, who are interested in what I'm reading, I'm reading um, in my efforts to educate myself in the times of this, this horrible times, uh, where the Black Lives Matter movement is um, trying to save black lives and where we all should support them. Uh, I'm reading a book about Britain, Race and Class in the Ruins of Empire by Akala, which is uh, an autobiography kind of non-fiction book that is um, very relevant for uh, race and class in the United Kingdom. I'm going to make a review about this when I'm ready, but on Sunday there's a book haul. Thank you very much for watching. Have a great day. It's sunny out here in Stockholm. Goodbye.